Welcome to sunny Morocco and Sahara Desert guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin from Russia with Love and today we are comparing the video capabilities of iPhone 13 Pro Max and Honor Magic 3 Pro and to be honest guys I was pretty impressed and I'll let you know why in a few seconds, let's go! And by the way guys, if you're interested in photo comparison, I have it on my channel in the previous video, I'll leave a link down below as well and now let's get to the comparison of videos. So guys, welcome to Morocco, the city of Fes. It's a pretty crowded and pretty tight city as far as I see. And now we're testing out the selfie cameras and also the microphone capabilities of both devices. We're shooting at 4K 30 frames per second and here's the quality as you can see. I guess you'll make your own conclusions in terms of sound, they both sound pretty nice. And now let's compare the ultra-wide cameras in 4K 30. I straight away see the difference in dynamic range, the iPhone is a little ahead, also in the color of the sky, Honor is more towards cyan, and to my eye the colors of the iPhone are more towards real life. But also iPhone has much more digital sharpening, which I don't like, and actually I do prefer the sharpness of Honor picture, it looks more natural to me. With the main camera module we also see the same situation with digital sharpening, I do prefer Honor's picture because we can sharpen it up in post, for instance using Sharpen tool in Final Cut Pro X and we can do almost nothing with over sharpened look of the iPhone. And here are the shots with 3.5x camera of the Honor, 90mm and 77mm 3x camera on the iPhone, I can say that I do prefer the iPhone's picture, it's looking less noisy and overall better quality, and now we digitally crop in 10x and we can see that iPhone is once again ahead, we do have 10x camera kinda in Honor, but it's actually a crop from the 3.5x camera and the quality is not that good. Date seed, date fruit, mm. the seed of the date, okay? Black coal, coal, all natural, this is the most important, no chemical. Sheep and goat skin, thin leather, take like 20 up to 30 days to be the colors all the way through the skin. Mm. And for cow and camels, 50 up to 60 days. Mm. So whole process for camel and cow, three months. Mm -hmm. For sheep and goat, two months. This is natural traditional dye. In this shot with this great old man we have two things to consider. First is the sky, on Honor we do have less detail in the clouds and second the exposure changes on Honor are more intense and kind of distracting. The iPhone is very smooth in this term. And now let's compare ultra wide shots, handheld, the stabilization is pretty comparable, iPhone is a touch better, we have more artifacts of stabilization on the Honor but it's not that big of a difference. Also iPhone has much less contrast in this scene which is not really cool. But I do see more noise in Honor's picture and in this shot it looks like more over sharpened look. It kind of changes its over sharpening when it's getting darker, it over sharpens the pictures more. And now one more ultra wide shot, I do see the difference in color and white balance and also the dynamic range on the iPhone is slightly better. You can see this on the building which is overexposed with the Honor's picture. Now let's compare 4K30 with the main camera, 1X, both cameras are doing pretty good job and I can say definitely that those pictures are really comparable and it's hard to define one from another, but when it comes to low light situations and walking we can see a ton of artifacts of stabilization, especially on Honor's picture we can see some kind of ghosting on those shots, which is pretty not cool, and also the Honor is much noisier as well. And now let's get indoors and I can say that both cameras are doing great job in terms of color and also not a lot of noise in those shots and it's a pretty good performance. In this shot with this awesome man, I do like the picture on the iPhone, it looks more rich, more natural, not as denoised as the Honor's picture and it's like crispier probably. That's a real Moroccan boy. Or guy, or man. Um, <laughs> I didn't like it. One more important thing is that when we shoot in 4K60, we only can choose the 1x camera, and then 3.5x and 10x, but not 0.5x or ultra wide camera. And as soon as I switch from 60p to 30p, we do have an option of ultra wide. So now let's have a look at 4K60, slowed down with the iPhone, it's looking pretty decent in my opinion. And now the Honors picture in 4K60, we have less dynamic range 
also a lot more artifacts, a lot more noise, and overall picture quality degrades dramatically comparing to 4K30. And also when we switch to 3.5x camera we can see that it's kind of a crop from the main sensor and it's looking very bad guys. So if you want to shoot 4K60 you can only use the main camera with less dynamic range and overall worse picture quality, which is sad. What's good guys from Morocco desert? Uh, today we're having fun with the camels. Oh, it's pretty, pretty dangerous actually. But that's really cool. So guys, now I'm using the Honor smartphone, as you can see it here. It's pretty windy in the desert of Morocco. It's a cold desert, by the way. So once again, welcome to Sahara Desert, and in this shot with the camels, I do prefer Honor's picture because it's not that over-sharpened. Yeah, I talk about over-sharpening a lot, and it's a pretty painful thing about the iPhone. But one more painful thing about the Honor is that it contains five frames of black frame in each video file, which is very annoying, and it's like in Galaxy S21 Ultra. Why are you just putting those five frames of black screen? <laughs> I don't know. Now some more comparison shots, we can have a look at the sharpness. And also the 4K60 is kind of the same quality as the 4K30 on the iPhone, which is great. And you can see a ton of detail with this mode. And with the Honor, you do get pretty nice picture quality with the main camera. We don't have ultra wide and we can't really use the 3.5x telephoto as you saw before because it's just the crop from the main sensor. And also we do lose the dynamic range. You can see some hot spots on the shirt of my friend right here. And it's definitely better than Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra's 4K60, but it's pretty limited compared to the iPhones. Also, we have the cinematic mode in Full HD on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is pretty cool, but it's not working properly all the time. We can see sometimes it's not blurring parts of my scarf, as you might have noticed. And overall, it's a bonus for iPhone because Honor doesn't have this mode at all. Also, there is a multi-video mode where you can basically shoot what's in front of you and uh, yourself and here is how it looks and you can choose different you know picture in picture modes which is great and now let's talk about slow motion which is the weirdest part about honor's phone i guess because just look at this picture quality uh, they say it's 1080p but it looks like doom game you know from the 90s all in pixels and it's 120 frames per second not even 240p uh, but it looks like 240p in, in terms of pixels, you know? I don't have an explanation for this, guys. And now let's talk about time lapses. They're pretty comparable, but iPhone is only in 1080p and the Honor's time lapses are in 4K. And we can definitely see the difference in sharpness of those two modes. And I do prefer the Honor's picture quality. It's a little too much HDR looking, but it's definitely better than the 1080p pretty soft time lapses of the iPhone. And now guys, one of the most interesting parts, I did install Filmic Pro app for iPhone, it's a paid app and you have to pay a little extra to unlock the log mode on the uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max for instance, and we can shoot in log, but look at that picture quality guys, it's just awful, look at that noise and it's uh, noise reduction, it's just everywhere, especially in the corners of the shot and in darker parts of the image, it's looking terrible guys <laughs> i would never suggest anyone to use this mode even if i color grade it and try to surpass the noise we lose a ton of dynamic range trying to hide the noise behind the shadows and also we don't have a lot of detail it's still over sharpened i tried to like uh, lower the detail in this shot but it's still like over sharpened all over the place basically the picture quality is much worse than in the regular mode and the dynamic range is also worse the honor does have pro mode and in pro mode you can shoot in log and this is how it looks guys look at that picture even in log we can see no noise I don't see noise basically anywhere, even in the darker shadows, it's pretty clean. And it's looking really, really, really decent, guys. I'm really surprised. Just look at that uh, bush. In the iPhone's picture, it was like <laughs> awful. And here, it's pretty good. And after color grading, we can see that it's not over sharpened, at least in my opinion. We have no noise, we have pretty cool colors. And overall, this mode is just outstanding, I guess. <laughs> I have no words almost. 
And uh, as you can see, we have no artifacts, no bending, nothing, which is so cool. And here's the comparison. Uh, we also get uh, worse stabilization with the Filmic Pro than with the regular camera. I do see over sharpening on the iPhone's picture and we do have much bigger dynamic range with the Honor in log mode than with the log mode with Filmic Pro app. Um, I guess Filmic Pro or Apple have to do something with it because it's just gross right here. We can get some decent results with the Log and Filmic Pro when we have something very bright like this image from the desert, but still it's pretty noisy in the shadows as you can see. And also we have a movie mode on the Honor and we can toggle 4K HDR mode, which is a PQ mode and basically you can shoot in 1x camera, no ultra wide, but you do get some uh, presets, let me say, color presets, which are cool, but I wouldn't use those anyway. And look at this picture quality. Pretty cool, guys. It's it's very decent. I do like it, um, but the only thing is the exposure jumps. It's like jumping like crazy and you have to lock the exposure not to get those things. But if you lock the exposure and you even have the natural bokeh when you point your camera at something up close, like my hand right here, I did enjoy using this mode a lot. And looking at the iPhone's picture with the log mode, we do have some color tints. I tried to color grade it and uh, it's it's kind of greenish in terms of sand. I do prefer the Honor's picture if you lock down the exposure once again. One more shot with the log and 4K HDR mode on Honor. Um, as you can see, we have a ton more noise with the iPhone and probably less detail in the sky, even in the highlights. And when we color grade both pictures, we do get some weird color of the building with the iPhone kind of greenish towards yellow more. And also it's much more over sharpened and I do prefer the look of Honor. And I'm really astonished by this result. The Honor does have some problems with auto exposure. As you can see, it's just jumping all over the place. And you definitely want to lock your exposure not to get those awkward things and changes. And now let's have a look at pretty low light situation. With the ultra wide camera, we can see more colors in Honor's picture. It's a little too blue in the sky, but I do prefer this kind of shot than everything yellow on the iPhone. We also do get some irritating little flares from both cameras, but in terms of flares, Honor is doing better once again. But the 3.5x is kind of a disappointment to me with the Honor phone because it's kind of shaky, the stabilization is not on par, and actually the footage is pretty noisy and the white balance is kind of off and the dynamic range is also somewhere <laughs> it's lost. So the telephoto module in video is much better with the iPhone. Well guys, now it's time to conclude and I'm pretty astonished to be honest. All in all, like in all the aspects, the iPhone is the better camera in terms of video because it's more kind of sustainable and it has 4K 30 and 60 in the same quality, at least to my eye. And we do have better slow motion uh, capabilities because the Honor is just a gimmick in this term. But man, this 4K HDR mode and especially the log mode on the Honor is, is just mind blowing. I didn't expect this from that phone. I thought that the iPhone is the king of video in smartphone industry, but those two modes are so cool in honor that I almost want this phone exclusively for those two modes. Yeah, guys, I may sound overexcited about it, but it's definitely the best video footage I saw from a cell phone almost ever, I have to admit. And especially this crisp but not noisy log footage from a smartphone, which is just nuts. But when we consider those two smartphones as a single unit, like a very powerful photo and video device, the iPhone is ahead. It makes like 8 or 9 out of 10 frames and shots and videos almost 100% of the time. Whereas Honor makes 10 out of 10 log video, 4K 30, only with the main camera sensor, but then you get pretty poor slow motion in terms of pictures. I mean, the stills, it's also kind of so-so from time to time. It's not as consistent. That is why the iPhone is so popular, because it makes good enough photos and good enough videos and good enough a stabilization, like 8 out of 10, in my opinion, in almost all the categories. Whereas different phones, they kind of so cool in some aspects and so so in different aspects, like 4K60 on Honor is, eh, you know, especially with the telephoto mode, which is a crop. So you got my idea. So guys, I'm really interested in your thoughts about this 4K HDR and log modes of Honor. 
please share them in the comment section below. Uh, let's talk about it because it's just, I don't know, to me it was very surprising. And if you did enjoy this video guys, please smash the like and subscribe buttons as I say in my videos and hit the notifications bell. I really do appreciate it guys and thank you so much for your support. Also here is my Instagram and a couple of videos for you to watch next. My name is Oleg Nikitin from Russia with love and I see you guys in the next videos. A couple of videos from Morocco are coming as well. So guys, stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching and I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Warmest hugs from Russia. To clean and to kill bacteria mm. with limestone and pigeon poop.